Hello and welcome back to Hoff Bergman. So in the last episode I did this massive mound of uh, fresh silphy, which you can still see a little bit of here, but now it's all fermented. It's the next in-game day, the nice sunny sunny day. Um, so yeah, what I'm going to be doing in this episode is obviously sorting this massive pile of uh, fermented silphy. So a bit like a maize silage. Uh, and what we're going to be doing is using the BGA and we'll try and utilise it and make as much money as possible. Uh, and hopefully I can show you also how to use it at the same time. So it's a little bit different this BGA is. There is a control room, um, a pipe connection here that you can either send the gas. So it's like a bit more like actually uh, managing the biogas as well at the same time. You're not just obviously putting it into this digester and then automatically turns on and like normal B BGAs and then you get the money overnight, it doesn't work like that. So you're pretty much gonna be using this here, if I bring up the F1 menu. So you can see that now that I've opened the F1 menu, you've got an option to close the gas tap, so no injection into the gas network, which is what we wanna do right now, or open it. So as this is processing the selfie that we've got, we'll start generating uh, biogas, um, and it's actually in the uh, menu. So if we just have a quick look in the actual prices menu, you can see, the biogas um, is an actual commodity now that you can sell. So it's not like you just get the money overnight. You can obviously take it to pretty much the families or the gas station or straight to LSFM Energy. Now that is the lowest cost. As you can see, I've got it set up in kilograms, so I'll probably adjust that just because I think it's uh, definitely not something that you do in kilograms. It'd probably be something like cubic meters or I don't know. We'd have to check that one out, but I think we'll keep it we might change it to litres and then I think it will relate better by doing that. So I'll do that in a second. But yeah, as you can see, you can directly sell it straight to the LSFM Energy, which is probably the easiest option. Then you can also take it to several different places. Um, and I will show you, hopefully, how to do that as well. So let me just quickly change in the F12 menu what I've got set up for biogas because I think that's a little bit off. So let's just change it to a liquid. I think it'd be easiest just to do that. And then what we should see now in the menu is it's in litres. So one litre of it equates to this much. So it's a little bit better. We can probably relate it a little bit more to it for you that are watching the video and for obviously me playing the game. So I'll keep it at that. Uh, so the first thing we obviously need to do is we need to load this up. We need to fill it up and then turn it on. So this is why I've leased out two of these augers. And I've got my trailer up here, so what we're going to do is just obviously fill it up. Pretty straightforward. We need to obviously get it from here to over there. So I, the, I think the easiest thing would just be, yeah, two augers. And then, yeah, we can do it this way. So that should probably fill up 50,000 litres, at least anyway, because that's what we need the biogas for the digester we need 50,000 litres and then when it's in there we can turn it on which we have to do by going into this little looks like kind of control room it's pretty cool to be honest definitely something uh, new when it comes to biogas and it's pretty cool as well because you, you get obviously your digest state and you can put it in two different tanks I know it's in a different language but that is basically biogas tank and then your digestate tanks uh, and you can obviously change which one you want to fill into uh, but we'll uh, fill it up a little bit first before we start turning things on there is so much of it it's going to take a long time to process all this uh, but what I'll try and keep doing in between episodes and during future episodes we'll just keep filling it up but we'll do this first load at least uh, just so I can show how it works. So I'll wait now until this is full, and then when it is, we'll move it over here. Pretty much all we're doing is just transferring it. Right, so there we go. It took a while. It's uh, quite a slow auger, that is. Probably realistic, though, let's be honest. Um, but yeah, we've got 9,641 kilograms in the trailer, which is plenty, but obviously, so it took a dent out of the pit. We definitely did a lot in Field 11. It really did. So all we need to do is pretty much just drop it here and get this turned on. 
And then what you'll notice is this will start filling up. Which it is doing, as you can see there. Fast as it possibly can. We're obviously tipping more than it can handle. That shouldn't be a problem. It'll definitely fill it up anyway. There's loads of it, there really is. Field 11, definitely. You want to make some money. Harvest that selfie. Also, just to let you know as well, I did sell field 8. So field 8, got all the potatoes out of it, stored it where I originally said I was going to do in the shed, just by the big bag machine. So that's all done. And uh, yeah, I decided to sell the field. Don't need that. We don't need field 11 anymore. We've got enough potatoes now. Um, and I do need some pig food. There's a few things I do want to do in this episode. So after I've sorted out a bit of the BGA stuff, while it's processing, we'll probably move on to doing some pig food and... Um, I'm also want, I want to make some big bags out of the seeds that I made in the last episode, and we can go and sell them straight away. Right, so while that's throwing that in, let's just move this out of the way. Um, it would be really good if we could set up some kind of a conveyor belt system that goes all the way from there to there. I think that'd be cool. You could do it, obviously, but um, I'll save that for maybe another time. Let's just get this initial load pretty much sorted out. Probably turn off this though. Don't need that on. Oop, oh, wait. So, it's getting there, it's kind of stopped filling up. There we go. It does hold 50,000. Um, I'm hoping we should have that here. We'll definitely have over 40 anyway. Right, so that's the amount that was in the trailer, just under 47,000 litres. So that'll be enough for what we want to do. Um, so first things we want to make sure we do, we've done is turn this valve so it's um, not feeding into the gas network, which it isn't. Um, and then what we need to do is just go into here. I need to jump into this. And then when we're here, we need to turn on the biomat. And now that it's on, what, what, will, what will happen is this will start processing naturally like it would when you're used to any BJ. See, everything's pretty much indicating that it's working. Um, so, yeah, you just have to leave it to do its thing while it's processing. Um, you can obviously do something else and then you can come back and, and basically tell it where you wanted, what you want to do with the biogas. You can either sell it straight away by opening this valve to the energy company uh, for a lower price, or you can get a tanker which I will get I'll lease it out and then go and sell it straight to the um, petrol station which is just there or you can take it to this guy here gas trader and what he'll do is he'll put it in canisters for you so then you can go and sell it at the different houses or even take it back and use it for when you're doing your grain drying uh, but so I think the most common thing would probably be to just sell it straight to the BGA or if you invest in the actual tanker taking it to the petrol station because it is a better price. And then you also have got the digestate that's going to come as well. So you can tell it where you want to put that. If you go into here, you can switch between tank one or tank two. So we'll keep it in tank one, which is that one. And then you've obviously got your, your connection areas where you can fill up your digestate from into your slurry spreaders or anything else for that matter. So it's pretty unique, but yeah, you pretty much have to manage it. And that's the only difference. So while that's doing that, let's crack on with some farming. We definitely need to do some bits and bobs. I also want to do the big bags, seeds and go and sell them. In fact, I might do that first and then we'll move on to some pig food. Um, and then also I'm, I am looking at doing some uh, hay because I definitely need some hay for the young bulls. While I'm over at the sheeps and the goats area, I will let you know that because I made quite a bit of money from selling them two fields. So I decided to get a lot more goats just for the reason of they've um, just not producing milk quick enough. I want to I do some goat's cheese, so I decided the best thing to do would just be to get quite a few more. So I did get probably an extra hundred. Um, I'm thinking I might just pick this up, super strength it. Yeah, so I have got 
quite a few more goats. I've definitely added to it, as you can see. 40 now with a brown, 40 now with a black, and 52 white. And because of that, they're actually producing quite a bit more milk, and uh, obviously the reproduction rate's gone up as well. We definitely need to go and have a look at the farrowing pen and the pig in there, because I know there's a few piglets, definitely a few piglets in there last time I checked. Um, pigs are obviously doing well, 26, we're four away from the maximum. So at any point now we could take them for meat packs, but I might save that for the next episode because we'll probably get another four. Um, do need to keep an eye on the, the chickens because I do want to use some of their eggs soon to do some mayonnaise. And young bulls are at 15, uh, but we'll have some more of them soon um, as soon as we've got some of the calves have grown up, which they might have done, so I do need to go and check that as well. So let's drive back and we'll have a look at where we're at and what we can do. Right, so I just wanted to quickly point out this slurry pit, this holding tank area. Now, this is always empty at the start, and it always will be empty unless you put some slurry in it. I was struggling to get up there. But yeah, so this is always empty. It's not now because I've obviously transferred the slurry from where the cows are. So imagine they've got a holding area there, and they've also got a holding area for the pigs over there. Um, and what you need to do is obviously transfer it over here. If not, this will always stay zero. Um, as you can see, it's 11,000 right now. Now, you can't move the slurry from where the young bulls are and the breeding bulls. They've actually got the exact same kind of slurry holding storage area like this um, over there. So you would have two points where you could do this on. So uh, keep that in mind that if you can't, you'll probably have more slurry than what you've actually got if you're doing what I'm doing and you've got different areas. And it's probably the same for the uh, breeding pigs as well in their area. So what you need to do is just bring up the F1 menu. Jump into it like you would any vehicle enter into it. Um, and then what you'll do is you'll have an option between toggling from the pig area, which is where I'm at, or the barn, which is where the cow barn is. So you can just activate, start filling. I have done just a tiny amount, a tiny amount again, because I did it not long ago. Uh, and then what you'll do is just keep transferring it out of there. So you might think to yourself, where's all my slurry? There's nothing going in here. And it's basically because you need to activate it and send it over first. Uh, so you are pumping it over and then obviously you can fill using the manure system mod point here or you can fill from here by just going under it with your tanker so yeah i just wanted to point that out because i don't know if anyone uh, was missing that so this is where the potatoes have gone Got quite a bit of them so i've stored them in here and then they're the seeds that we did in the last episode so we're going to bag off but what i have done is bought this class now this scorpion, because obviously I did need a telehandler. I did like this one last time. It kind of had quite a bit of weight at the back, so it didn't tip. So we have got this. I've purchased it brand new, hence where the money's gone a little bit down. So we'll be using that very soon. But quickly, let's just go and have a look at how the uh, cows are getting on. So they're all still relatively small. This one's still lying down. It has been probably one full day now. So what I understand is these three here will be young bulls. These six will be actual milkers, so female cows, female Holsteins. Whereas these will be some young bulls um, of the uh, Holstein breed, or the black and white. Now what you could do is you could take some calves, like I've got here, over to the breeding bull area. And as you'll notice over there, they've got some pens just like it, six of them in fact. If you take these calves over there, they'll actually turn into breeding bulls and you can obviously uh, sell them for a much bigger price. So the price of breeding bulls are actually a really good price. I was going to show you, but I'd have to go to the laptop uh, as if I was going to buy one or if I was going to go to the animal dealership, but they are a lot more. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these over. In fact, I'll do it now. I'll take these over and uh, we'll, we'll get these set up as breeding bulls because I think it'll be good for us. Um, but I think first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump in the bobcat after I've moved that and uh, clean up. So I'll quickly just clean up the cows, probably feed them as well, even though they've got enough food, but I'll top it up. Right, so there we go, all fed and sorted out. So let's move these cows over. So obviously you can't trigger them in, you're going to have to walk them in. Should get up there, there we go. There 
There we go. You can get there in the end. You will get there. I think three will be enough anyway, because they are quite yeah profitable. They've got to be. Reading balls. Uh, they do cost a fortune to buy one. From what I remember, so if we can actually breed, get these to a proper breeding bull, these three, and sell them at uh, the animal dealership, yeah, I think we'll get some good money for them. So there we go, we've done that, so we just need to lift that up, put the cover on, and off we go. To the young bull farm. Now, they don't fly around like the piglets do, luckily. That looks like some of the tools from the uh, Cavernaland are on offer. While I'm here, let's just have a quick look at this. So a big thank you to Michael Knight, Tricky Doo, and Freddy DP for being a new channel member. Really appreciate it, and I've added your name to the list, so thank you. Appreciate it a lot. Anyway, so let's carry on. And off we go. I mean, I am interested to see how um, how long it takes because it's taken a while for these cows. I think it's like the second day now, maybe the third. I don't know, um, but it's got to be any time now. And will it actually be any different for the breeding bulls? Because the young bulls and the and the actual milkers, I'm calling. Uh, the six on the left and the six on the right, they're about the same time. Nothing's happened yet. Sunflowers are growing well because we need them soon, so that's good. Looks like there's some more over here, or is that Silphy? It might be Silphy. Because yeah, we are going to be doing some vegetable oil, which we will need. So that'll be interesting to do. I mean, we could sell it straight away as well. We don't have to do anything special with it, but we can also make fuel out of it. fuel as we learned in the last episode or the one before it was yeah it's quite profitable right so I think this is a good point to enter in and then this is where the six pens for the breeding bull are as you can see so these will all be breeding bulls. They have got a little bit more room as well, you can see it's a bit differently set up, uh, but we will need to get some straw and obviously another milk mixer, so let's quickly just get all that sorted. Right, so there we go, that's a little bit better, I've filled up all the straw in the actual pens for the uh, calves, I've got the milk shuttle as well, some milk, uh, powder bags and a bucket, because we did need the bucket. So let's quickly just put some water in. Oop. There we go, that's that done. So as you can see, it's pretty much, well it's not full, but that'll be enough for what we need. We've got obviously more if we do need to make some. So what we need to do now is obviously turn it on, let it mix, it'll take a minute, and then we can top up these and uh, yeah, bring in the calves and then over time these will turn into breeding bowls which should give us quite a bit of money. So I do like this because you can not only carve the young bulls and the milkers but also the breeding bowls. Right, so let's go and bring these calves in. To walk backwards down the ramp. There we go. Maybe not. He's stuck. There we go. Got them in the end. So, what should happen is they should just automatically pop in again like last time. There we go. That's one down. So we can shut the door. There's a lot of work involved when it comes to these calves. Uh, because what I have noticed as well, the, the, the fact that I've got 10 cows that are calving, they are throwing out calves. Yeah, soon I'm actually going to get to a point where I don't even know I'm going to have room for them. So I might have to sell them at the animal dealership for a bit. Which obviously 
would make sense. You're going to get some money to do that. Uh, because technically you've got 18 spaces for carves at one, one obviously single time. So depending on how long they're taking to obviously grow up, is um, yeah, it means if you're going to sell some, I guess, or if you're going to keep them. So now that I've got the milk all set up, we want to make sure that it's set to the pint, which it is, and then I think we should just get the trigger. Maybe not. Right, so I am trying to get the trigger to pop up. For some reason, it's just not popping up for me, and I have got it to pipe unload, so I don't know... Yeah, I don't know why this is, because I've got calf breeding milk in there. It's... I've tried pretty much everything that I can think of, so maybe it's got something to do with a mod that I'm running right now. Let's just move these bales out of the way and just see if it is this. I doubt it, but... We may as well give it a go. So it looks like none of these are popping up. None of these triggers are, are coming up, so... Right, so I've been trying to get this to... Yeah, these triggers to fill up for quite some time now, and I don't know what the issue is, so I must have a mod that's uh, conflicting, because it hasn't been a problem with the other milk shuttle, and I have just bought a, another one and sold this, and reset it and all them kind of things so what I'm gonna unfortunately have to do is just not be able to do this because yeah I don't know why it won't uh, show me the trigger to fill up the calf milk because it is all fully mixed I'll have to see what I can do in between this episode and the next and just try and find out what the issue is right so let's move on to the next thing that I'd wanted to do which is obviously get these big bags sorted out so first things first let's do the seeds because I'm going to sell these straight away and then we can do some pig food because the, yeah, the pigs really do need some pig food soon. So let's fill all this up and we'll try and do at least a couple of bags anyway. Go, that's that, and then it's just the last little bit. There we go. Job done. As easy as that. But now what we need to do is go and get the actual front loader. So I'm just thought I'd quickly check this while it's processing. It's at 42,000, 43,000, so it hasn't done much at all. Looks like we've got another calf. Ah, this is what we want. So let's go. And sort this out. We will need to bring that down as well at some point. Do some pig food. Not going to bag off the pig food because we're just going to mix it straight. If we did have the actual breeding pig area, we could bag off the uh, pig food then. Uh, because we could obviously mix it first and then bag it off. But if we just put, for example, potatoes in here, what we'll do is some big bags of potatoes, for example, and then the same for whole grain. We don't want to do that. So this is actually a water load trailer, so I will be doing that when I think when I've um, unloaded them. It'll make more sense to do that when we sell them. I think we just need to jump in and let that do the next one. Now I don't know how much money we're going to get, but we can take these down and sell them. So if you did want to make money by doing this, you can do. I don't know if it's very profitable, but it'll give us something anyway. Some small amount. So how many? So we're only going to have enough for another big bag, but it won't be full. I think this will fit it on. I hope so anyway. Yeah, we've got a bit of room there. Nudge it along. Right, so let it just fill up this last one. It's going to be like half a bag. <laughs> Literally just, just over half a bag. We 
could have processed a lot more. But I think it's more about showing how to do it and then you can decide yeah which way you wanna you wanna go really. There we go. But I do like how you can make your own big bags. Pretty much of everything now. Solid fertilizer. All of it. And solid fertilizer, like I said, is good money. We will be doing that soon. We'll definitely be doing that. Right, so there we go. I don't think I actually need to put them on a little low. We'll just leave them like that. And I'll be fine. So let's head down to the store where we can sell these at for a good price. And um, we'll then move on to the next thing. Right, so this is where we're going to go and sell them. We're going to go and sell the seeds at the garden centre, which is an actual new uh, yeah, place for the map. But yeah, you can't sell these, unfortunately, at the other place, which is where a lot of the times I have sold uh, yeah, some form of big bag. But this is where you take them to the garden centre. I can see it's pretty cool. And there should be a dude in here with all these garden tools. Or a lady, sorry. Hello. Hello. So, yeah, you can bring several different items to here, but if I just go in the menu and show you, you can see that garden centre at the top here. So you can take, obviously, seeds there. Um, you can take fertiliser, lime, compost, anything that you think you'd need at the um, garden centre. So pretty much all, all that kind of stuff. Right, so, unfortunately, at the garden centre, it's pretty tricky to actually sell anything. Uh, for some reason, the cell point's inside, right in this corner, so to do it, you're going to have to pick up the big bag manually and just put it over here to sell it. And that's the only way to do it, unless um, you sell it in sacks. So if you put it through the sack machine and get small sacks, which I think is what's actually intended, um, then you can do it that way. So if you can't sell it as loose bulk, um, unless you find a way of getting a trailer in here. Uh, but you can pick up the big bags, obviously, unrealistically with... with uh, Super strength, but yeah, I wouldn't recommend properly doing this. Whoa. But what I will say is it is quite a lot of money. A full bag, so 2,000 litres, is actually £6,000, which is, yeah, a hell of a lot. Um, I have been messing about with the mods, so in between me doing this, I have removed some mods, just thinking that maybe it was an issue. Um, and what I also did was rent out this trailer and put in a full amount of seeds just so if I could see if I could find any hidden triggers, but there isn't. And the trigger fire was inside, so yeah, let's get rid of that. We don't need that now. So there we go. That's technically how you're going to sell seeds and anything else that the garden's You do need to take it inside, unfortunately. And there isn't like a bulk one outside, which I would have liked. I would have liked somewhere where you could just sell big bags, a bit like the shop. Bit like the cell point just there across the road, uh, which we probably will go to when we're doing fertilizer. Um, and any big bags, I think they take quite a bit there actually. I know they didn't take seeds, but we can have a quick look now because where are they? This one, see, so it says big bags and crates. So you can obviously take all grain types, big bags there corn, potatoes, wood chips, and lime, and they also take compost. But it doesn't look like they take. They do take dry grain, though, at a really good price. But no, they don't take solid fertilizer. So it's pretty much just for um, big bags and crates of grain types and stuff there. So that's a shame. But solid fertilizer, we're going to have to take there. But big bags again is probably the best way to go. But to do that, you're also going to need to yeah, bring it inside um, and do it that way. Unless you make sacks of fertilizer for the at the garden centre, which is, again, it is more realistic. It's what they're going to probably sell it in to uh, people that go to the garden centre. Anyway, now we've figured out that, um, which did take a while, definitely took a little while. Let's get back and let's do some pig food. And then what I'll quickly do before I end the video is also check if I've fixed the uh, trigger problem that I was having for the uh, young balls, because I really don't understand that one. It's a mystery. Right, so here we are with the pig food mixer. It's 
quite a big big machine um, now what I'll need to do is obviously two parts it looks like to one part of uh, whole grain so we're going to use the uh, tally handler for this I'm going to need to try and get it yeah, as close as possible really so let's first put some potatoes and not obviously loads but some and I can't remember the capacity I will check if I need to but we'll probably just put a little bit in and just see where we're at because this obviously holds 5,000 litres and um, I don't think it's going to be that much to be honest look at the size of it right so let's bring it down to 3,000 litres in the bucket because I know I think it holds 3,000 litres so if we put 2,000 litres of this and then 1,000 litres of whole grain that should be right that's what I'm hoping for anyway so now because we've got the whole grain sitting in this silo all we need to do is pretty much just go underneath it and try and fill up a thousand litres of it There we go. And then we just put it into here. And hopefully, we can bring that down. There we go. So it's full. So I was right. It's 2,000 litres of potatoes and 1,000 litres of whole grain. And that should give you a spot on mix. So obviously, now we can turn the mixer on. And while it's mixing, we can obviously push it back over. So what we need to feed the pigs. I do like how it can feed from both sides as well. It obviously takes a minute. And most things in this game, when it's like a, mix, a mixing thing, uh, take a minute. Take 60 seconds, so it's not too long. And I don't know how long the batteries last, because... When every time I put them on charge, I'm usually about 95%, something like that. Right, so there we go. It's now mixed up to 3,000 litres of pig food. So let's go over the uh, trigger and we'll fill it up. And it's gone from that side, which is a bit strange. I don't know how much they'll need, but they might need quite a bit. Because I know they take quite a bit and then obviously it lasts um, a lot longer than what it would do. Uh, on seasons for example so yeah they're full anyway and that's the main thing and if we do need to make some more it's easily done now that we've got potatoes and uh, whole grain which is pretty good so I think we can have a quick look at the piglets wow we've definitely got enough these are at 100 so they can be taken this one's at 71 and the rest are like little tiny things so we need to leave them progress but the uh, mama pig is definitely Producing a lot of piglets. Look like the dancing. Anyway. So we have got quite a lot of pigs at the moment, so soon we are going to need to take them to get some uh, meat packs. Now I was going to cut the grass for hay, but I am going to do that in the next episode because I have... This one has taken quite a while. Right, so let's just quickly jump over here. and Fingers crossed we can get this trigger sorting out because I really don't know what I'm missing here and why the trigger won't work for me still seems to be yeah seems, seems to still have a problem I'm um, looks like I'm even bypassing them I can't think it out or or it's actually a, a, a little bug that I found maybe I don't know uh, but there's no reason why these calves shouldn't be able to get any milk so, it is strange. So we've got the straw. And that's mixed up. So that's got the right ratio. You can even see, if I open the lid, it's now the milk colour. Even if it's turned on or not turned on. Nothing happens. So, and I've definitely got it tipping at pipe, which is where I need it. Because if I try and tip it at the front, nothing actually happens. So that is strange. 
Oh well, hopefully I can fix it and uh, yeah, figure out what the problem is. Let's just quickly check on the breeding bull because I know he's probably done his thing, he has. Uh, but what I'll just quickly do before setting him off again is actually fill up the 5 litres and refrigerate it with the rest. There we go. So quickly, just before I end the video, I just want to show you that this uh, TMR mixer, um, it's processed all the silage that I put in and all the hay. It's still got a bit of straw, and there's 8,000 litres left in uh, to move up, to, up to, into this trailer. Now, this trailer I did get completely full, and I stored it in the feed silo over there. Uh, so we have got plenty of TMR, probably more than we're going to need for a while anyway, because they don't consume that much. But they are obviously growing out. They are um, The herd's getting bigger, so to speak, so soon enough. We can probably take some of these for some meat packs. Uh, so, so far it is working well over here. Um, and hopefully soon, yeah, we can get some money from the meat packs. Uh, but I am going to leave the video there. So thanks for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. That really does help my channel out. And if you're new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more videos just like this one on Farming Simulator.